the glad you could join me today I have been waiting to do this video a bunch of my items got delayed in shipping because you know the world we live in right now finally getting to do it I'm really really excited to show you everything I got this year for our kids homeschool if you like this video give it a thumbs up maybe consider subscribing and sticking around to see my other videos I've got some really great ones coming up in fact I'm filming a second one today uh, my Halloween haul to look forward to keep an eye out for that one next week but yeah hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post let's get to today's haul video <music> I wanted to mention with this video one is that with homeschooling I don't have to repurchase items every year we can use the same scissors the same glue sticks you know if we still have glue and replace it as needed and with that that allows me the opportunity to buy higher quality items than you might buy if you're sending them to school and you know they're gonna get lost or not come back at the end of the year because they're donated to a classroom Just keeping that in mind when seeing what I bought for this year I've been trying to replace my items slowly with more zero well I don't like the word zero waste with low waste options low waste packaging recycled materials natural materials that can decompose more quickly refillable options so everything's not perfect I, there's definitely things in here that somebody who's low waste might say that's not low waste and that's okay we can all have our own version of what works for us but the key is just doing better where we can some of these things you might see are a little bit more expensive I also buy some cheap stuff honestly I, I go to the dollar store and I get things too my philosophy is if you are going into financial debt to purchase zero or low waste items you're really not helping the environment that money that debt goes into stocks that are funding companies that might not have the same goals that you have for the environment just keeping that in mind that I'm not here to chastise anybody for having debt I'm definitely not a debt free person myself I'm striving towards a more debt free lifestyle and I'm seeing the benefit of a debt free lifestyle not only for myself but also for the world I'm just saying don't buy things that you don't need there's definitely buying repurposed things and I, I hopefully I'll show you some more affordable options that you can pick up like at the dollar store that maybe aren't perfect but they're better Just keeping that in mind when you're watching my video today that this is not about perfection this is not about having the most aesthetic like low waste school room I do however choose to mostly purchase low waste items when I'm replacing my stuff where I can and that's not gonna be everything so I'm rambling on but I felt like that was really important I really wanted to touch on that in today's video and I'm by no means encouraging you to go out and buy anything use what you have that is the most sustainable thing you can do is to use what you already have look around your closets and your drawers first and make sure there's not repurchasing of things that you already have that you can use that are perfectly fine already let's go ahead and get into what I have today hopefully as I'm going through some of this stuff I'm gonna kind of talk about even mistakes or things that I bought that I thought were gonna be better options that I'm not sure are because I did order a lot of stuff online I'm trying not to shop too much in the stores right now I will link where I bought things below there are a couple of things I bought from Amazon I try to avoid buying things on Amazon as much as possible I try to buy direct from the retailer or a low waste zero carbon emissions warehouse shop like Earth Hero. There's a great company that I bought some stuff from called Wisdom Supply. They're really small and they just have a few things, but the things that they have are great. And from Blick, which is an art company. I just try to uh, try to find better options when I can for where I'm purchasing. And sometimes, though, I can't find exactly what I'm looking for except for on Amazon unfortunately so there will be a few Amazon things but, but the majority of stuff I'm not gonna link to Amazon if you do shop on Amazon there you might be able to find them by searching them through Amazon but I'm gonna default to uh, using where I ordered them from 
So I'm going to start with the first thing I ordered and I actually didn't order this for my kids. I ordered this for my partner. He needed a new set of these for work, but I thought these would be great for if you did have kids, especially if they're doing any internet online learning and they need a new pair. The House of Marley is the brand. They have their own website and their shipping is great. It was super quick. They're great to work with. They have higher cost versions of headphones and they have I think I think they have a corded pair this is a Bluetooth pair but it was $29.99 which I think is a great deal for a pair of wireless earbuds that are Bluetooth and the sound quality is amazing as you would expect from a company called House of Marley I just really love their packaging it is low waste so it's all made from recycled material and there's no plastic. The headphones are made from recycled materials, if not renewable materials. The headphones have a little bit of wood on them, but then they have these silicone earbuds. They have multiple that come with it. And then they've got these recycled braided cords. They have a lot of different colors. They stay in really well. The sound, like I said, is really good. And it blocks out a lot of background noise. And they have, it says nine hours of battery life, and we found that to be true. My partner can use these all day at work, and they don't die on him. So that's one thing that I bought this year. And the reason I buy stuff around back to school time is, is usually things are on sale. So that's why I still buy, even though I do have to buy stuff throughout the year, I try to look for the sales during the back to school season to see what kind of deals I can get for things that I need. So I go through it. This is the time of year I clean out my homeschool room, weeks homeschool, what's considered year round. But we go ahead and we do usually take July off. This year we took a couple extra months off because one broke his hand and one broke his leg and it was just a lot. So we just took some extra time off. We're just getting started back up actually next week. Got all of the schoolwork sorted and ready for the kids to get started and have a successful year. But one of those things is going through, organizing everything, throwing away anything that we don't need from last year. Uh, you know, like school work that pages that just need to be recycled or whatever, not just throwing away stuff. Anything broken, we will throw away. And then taking an inventory of what we need for the next school year. So another thing I bought for my partner that I didn't buy for my kids, that is a school item that you might like if your kids like markers. My kids don't really like markers, but my partner loves to draw with markers and he prefers Sharpies, but Sharpies don't last very long and then it's so much plastic I throw them away. So I was really excited to find the Blick Studio. So on Blick's website has these refillable markers. Now they do come with a plastic insert, so they're not completely zero waste. This is going to have to be thrown away. My area does not take this kind of recycling, so it is does have some waste, of course. But, and the markers themselves are plastic, but they're refillable, so you can buy their refills. You can buy new marker tips even. You can replace the marker tips, so it's got a small end, and then it's got a large end. And they have 96 colors in this, so a huge selection. They've got a whole bunch of gray. In fact, my 15-year-old uh, said that he would like the gray set. He doesn't like markers because he doesn't like to use color in his drawing. He prefers a gray scale. I'm gonna buy a couple of their gray sets for him for Christmas uh, that he can use for his drawing. So I was really excited to see that they had a huge range of gray and everything. So if you have an artist in your house, the fact that these are refillable, I think it says it refills the pen seven to nine times for the refill, making it super affordable. They are a little bit upfront. They're about $3 a piece up front, but like I said, you buy the refill. I believe the refill is like $8, maybe $9. And in the end, it ends up being cheaper than a Sharpie. And honestly, thought they worked just as good, if not better than Sharpies. Got a whole bunch of those. And then I think that's all that I bought for my partner that I wanted to show you. So now we're going to get into some of our more school supplies. This is the all-star of today's video. These Stabilo Woody markers, they work as expo pins and I should have brought my whiteboard in here to show you that was my bad so I'll just draw on the outside of this bed they write super easy and then as you can see well maybe not on here but yeah you can it does it wipes right off it's great wipes right off they're wood and they last forever. I bought one last year to give it a try because I didn't want to buy a whole set 
before I tried one because again they're a little bit up front but they last way longer than an expo marker there's no worried about the kids leaving the cap off of these these are just really great and they come in an array of colors they can be used as regular markers as well but we use them for for whiteboards and for writing on anything that requires like an expo marker so this is my number one recommendation for you besides my pencil sharpener which I don't have but I'll try to insert a photo of it right here of my pencil sharpener that I bought last year that I absolutely love and if you homeschool this is my definite recommendation don't buy an electric pencil sharpener buy one of these they're good quality highly recommend I got those, really excited to have those, and I bought a few more. Let's see if I can find them in here. I should have been more organized, but you know how life goes, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, here they are. I did have them right here. They had the metallic colors, the silver and gold. Just a great selection. The individual ones do come with a little plastic wrapping on the outside, but minimal packaging for uh, them. And it, this is that Wisdom Supply Company I told you about that I love to order from. They sell these markers, but they're always out of stock of most of the colors. I did end up ordering from Blick. The rest of them, I got them from Blick. But Wisdom Supply, all of their packaging is this. It's just paper bags with their logo printed on them, and that's how it comes wrapped. I love it. If you watched my son's clean, where I cleaned his room up video, you saw all the temper paint that we go through every year, and I... You know, that's been one of the things that I hate is it's so much plastic. It's just been one of those things that I've been really, really wanting to find some alternate option for. And Blick came through for me with these temper cakes. I didn't know they existed. Maybe you did, but I had no idea. They're solid cakes of temper paint. They work perfectly. You just put a little bit of water in this little divot here and... They're great, they're temper paint, they're perfect. Less spilling from kids, less waste because you only use what you need. You don't have to squirt them out into like a pan. My six year old paints all day long. He loves to paint. They had the flesh tones, so I got one of each of the flesh tones. And then they had the bright colors, so I got one of each of the bright colors. And they do have trays you can buy to put these in, plastic trays. But I decided I don't need a plastic tray to put them in. I'm just going to put them on a plate when he's using them, and it will be perfectly fine. That's what I usually do with my temper paint anyways, is I just put it on a glass plate, and it works just fine. But, yeah, you can order a plastic tray to refill them. And they do offer smaller ones, too. So if you had multiple kids, you could buy the minis and have multiple that way. And then you'll see it does come wrapped in plastic, so that is a little bit of waste there, but I'm okay with that. And you get uh, all the basic colors plus a few extra, like this teal. These are going to last so long. I, um, I'm, I'm thrilled. Can you tell? I'm just like, ah, it's so exciting. The, the things we get excited about as adults. Blick had these imperfect paintbrushes for a really great deal. So they were less than a dollar a piece and they're just imperfect little per imperfections, ones that would normally have gotten thrown away. Like this one has just like a little scratch in it, but it's a great, look how big and lovely this paintbrush is. It's perfect again for that art easel. You get that nice flowy painting with that. Got this really great stippling brush. And really, they're all really great. The, the ferrules are in good condition. There's nothing wrong with them. They just have minor imperfections that might, would have kept Blick from selling them otherwise. And so, again, what a great sustainable way. Instead of having these thrown in the dumpster, which is what they do when I worked at a retail, a big box retail that I worked for when younger, there were so many things that broke my heart that we would throw away into the trash compactor simply because it was deemed unsellable by the company, which is really sad. And so anytime a company has options like this, I... You know, it makes me love the company that much more. I mean, they're getting to make money off of something, but really they, a lot of times, would have gotten money back, compensation back from the original, from the manufacturer, and just thrown it away. That's the rule. They have to throw it away if they get a compensation back. To sell it to the consumer is the right thing to do, and I want to support that. Good job, Blick. The other thing I got from Blick was they had buy one, get one free on their sketch pads and so I got two of these and it didn't you know I don't even remember if it came wrapped in plastic or anything like that I don't know if it comes wrapped in plastic 
to the store and then they unwrap them, which is sometimes the case. So they're the recycled paper. It's 30% recycled content, so it's not a lot, but it's better. And we needed sketch pads, so I went ahead and bought this. I can't afford to buy super expensive paper all the time. You know? I'm sure you can relate. And for my son, I didn't buy that. That is a little bit more expensive. I think these were $6 a piece, which with a buy one, get one free, only made them $3 a piece, but still. I went to the Dollar Tree and I got him these sketch pads. And these sketch pads I picked up. And now the reason I picked up this one instead of the one that they had that had 60 sheets was because this one was a uh, Sustainable Forest Initiative certified sourcing which isn't perfect in its own right, but it, I, I find it's better. I like to know that they're replanting trees when they're cutting them down for paper. You know, the dollar store before had recycled content paper, but I couldn't find it. So I got these because I needed to have something for him. And these are a little bit thinner. It's not as good a quality as the Canson ones, but you know, again, it's, a, it's for a six year old. This is what I needed. This is what my budget needed for how fast he goes from paper. One of the things I got from Amazon were these Stantler dry highlighters. Again, highlighters are one of those things that the caps get left off, your kids leave them out. They're a ton of plastic compared to what they are and they run out really quickly. I found these and a lot of times these are used for like Bible studies and things like that. So you probably would find them at like a Christian bookstore or something like that if you have a local one. Not really my thing, but you know, just heads up if you're that's what you're looking for i did not buy them for that purpose i bought them to use as uh highlighters instead so they have yellow green pink and orange and they work great let's see if i can show you on something here so we'll use the back of this thing they show up really great and they look just like a regular highlighter i got these from amazon they're not really expensive at all compared to even what you would pay for highlighters unless you're buying super cheap highlighters but again those are gonna dry out and be gone super quick and these the pen so runs all the way through to the bottom which is great the other thing I got from Amazon was my son needed a sight word book I thought this was really cool because not only is he learning to read but he's learning to write at the same time I wouldn't consider this like a low waste or zero waste but it's something we bought this year for homeschool and I got a few things from Target. One of the things I got was this Magic Greener tape. Now I know you can buy craft tape, you can buy other kinds of tape that are paper based, that have low waste adhesives. I am not there yet. I still need my clear scotch tape and this is just a better option, especially when I buy it in bulk without the roller. When you constantly are repurchasing the roller, you know, that's just plastic that gets tossed and thrown away. I have some rollers that are not like a desktop one, but I actually have some reusable rollers. I'll try to insert maybe a photo of one here that I just slip the tape right into. They just come in these little cardboard boxes. Yes, there's plastic on the outside, but we're talking 65% recycled or plant-based for the tape. And it works great. It's just as good as any Scotch Magic tape. These are exclusive to target this line, this Bic Revolution. If you're looking for like pens that are normal Bic pens, but they're made with recycled plastic content, so at least it's better. It's not brand new virgin plastic check out this line at target and the prices are not that bad in my opinion the packaging is my favorite part because packaging is huge packaging i can get behind some plastic like these markers that are refillable a lot quicker than i can get behind the plastic wrap that comes on packaging that just gets instantly tossed in the garbage so i was really excited to see Bic do this no plastic recycle paperboard packaging i love it now, the thing I don't love is these are actually half the size of the normal ones you get, but they are smaller, so they do use less plastic, but still, I'm a little skeptical about how much greener these actually end up being in the long run. Will I buy them again? I'm not sure. I think I need to do a little bit more research. It's definitely in that questionable is greenwashing area. The other thing I got from Target was this Zebra stainless steel pen. So the great thing about this is 100% stainless steel. The bad thing about this is it comes wrapped in that blister plastic I was just talking about that you're just gonna throw away, which seems, come on, Zebra, what's the deal? I don't, I don't understand what's going on here. Wisdom Supply Company sells these individually that they get from Zebra, but I, I need to contact Wisdom Supply now and find out, because Wisdom Supply was out at the time of stock of these, 
if they just take this plax, do they just take this packaging off in their warehouse and throw it away? Or are they getting a deal from Zebra where they're getting these sent to them in a, like a big case without packaging and then they're shipping them out without the packaging? If that's the case, definitely a reason to buy them from Wisdom Supply. But now I'm curious when I got it in this packaging when I ordered it from Target. It's a little disappointing, but it is a cool all metal pen. I'm really excited about that. I like that it's got the grip on here and it's refillable. So I got the refills from Wisdom Supply. See, Wisdom Supply comes, like I said, either in this paper packaging or on this. And so I got three of these refills for this pen. And I just think refills for pens are great options if it's not, you know, gonna get lost, <laughs> put away in a school bag and never returned. But if you're homeschooling and you just want a great pen to have and you don't want to keep going through big pens and throwing them away constantly, I think this is a great option. So I got this for me for this year for my, the, my teacher needs. And I also got the red one. This one has is refillable, which is why I bought it. But it does have a plastic refill. They said they're working on metal refills, so we'll see if those come out. But it does have a plastic refill. But that's way less plastic than what you would be purchasing if you were buying a brand new pen. And the red pen is for obviously correcting things. And I do still buy the Papermate Erase Mate pens for my uh, 15 year old. He prefers to be able to erase his ink because he's still a little nervous about making mistakes. He has anxiety, and you know, whatever I can do to ease his anxiety with his schoolwork, I'm gonna do it. If that means buying some plastic pens, I'm going to do that. The other thing I got from Wisdom Supply. I've moved on to Wisdom Supply from Target. I think that was everything I got from Target, other than these other lunch bags that I'm gonna show you in a minute, but we'll get there. For my, from Wisdom Supply, for my six-year-old, I got this cool pen, and it's got like that triangular shape, which is really great for little hands. And it's a solid wood pen, and it's just bigger and easier for him to grab for his work. It's just a regular standard pencil. I thought that was really great. And then the other thing I got from Wisdom Supply were these metal, so again, I love their packaging just in this little envelope, which I'll reuse. They don't seal it, so you can reuse it, which is great. I got this screwdriver set that he can attach to his key ring for my 15-year-old. I thought that was really great and handy for him to have. Um, part of our homeschooling is learning everyday life skills, which includes using screwdrivers, so I thought this was a great tool for him to have. The next store I purchased some things from was Earth Hero. I got just a few things from them this year. I got these little decom. I love the, the word play, decomposition books, like a composition book. I don't think there's necessarily anything wrong with a composition book in general. They're, you know, fabric bound and they're a lot of times recycled paper, but these are 100% post-consumer waste recycle pages. A lot of times when you see recycled waste, it's pre-consumers, so meaning things that they, scraps, they would have just thrown away from their cutting room floor when they're cutting the paper, and they're just repurposing that. But when they use the post-consumer, that's when the stuff that you're actually putting in your recycle bin is getting used, which is great. So this cute little honeybee one, and then for my son, I got this astrology one. Love these, just for taking notes. And then I got this brand Onyx Green Post-it Notes, and these are Forest Steward certified, again, paper. I wish this was cellophane, I wish this wasn't plastic, but this brand is just a good company. I like to support any company, Earth Hero. I believe all the companies from Earth Hero are B Corporations. Earth Hero itself is a B Corporation. If you don't know about B Corporations, I will see if I can find a link below to the B Corporation website. You can read more about their standards and what it means to be a B Corporation and how that is better for the environment. The other thing I got was this, again, the brand, the decomposition brand sketch pad for my teenager. And they have tearaway pages, which makes them easy to tear out and recycle or to keep. And this is for him, for his art. He just likes to draw got him that. And then the thing I'm most excited about that I got from Earth Hero is these last tissue boxes. So I've been thinking about, sorry, I have that upside down. I've been thinking about ordering these for quite a while because I, in my house, use normal tissue boxes. That's actually from Fred Meyer, which is the Kroger in the Pacific Northwest where I live. And that's recycled content 
tissue. It is the best recycled contact tissue. It's not grainy. It's soft like a puffs tissue and I love it. It doesn't have lotion in it. It's like the regular puffs, not the ones with the lotion, but they're soft. I recommend those if you're looking for ones for your home, but when I'm traveling, I don't like to buy the little plastic wrapped ones. And I've been thinking about getting one of these for quite a while and I finally, they are quite expensive. I think it's $25 for one of these. So it comes in a plastic free packaging. And then this is made out of silicone and it pops open and you go ahead and you grab your clean tissue from the bottom, pulls out just like that. And then when it's done, it's got this little silicone divider where you put the dirty, so you push it down and then you put the dirty tissues up top and they're reusable, just fabric tissues, little, uh, like a, like a hanky, like a handkerchief, which is great. So I got these to have in my purse for when we go on homeschooling like field trips, which hopefully we'll get to do more this year, you know, fingers crossed if things go well, but just in general to have for that kind of thing. So I got that and then I got a refill pack so I can have one in the one set in the wash and one set always on hand. The other thing I've done before is I have like little silicone bags, zip top or a stasher bag and just put some of those tissues in a stasher bag and throw those in my purse. I've done that as well, but I like the reasonableness of this and we'll see how it goes. I might order more if, if the family ends up liking these. The thing that I was waiting on forever to get was these zebra pins. And these were my biggest disappointment of the things I bought because they all came in these blister packs was super disappointing for me. But I got these refillable Sharpies. They are really nice quality. They do write really nice. But my biggest, my biggest complaint is the refills. The refills, while it's simple and easy and they untwist and they just pull right out, honestly, that feels to me like not a lot less plastic than what I would get if I bought a cheap fake Sharpie from the Dollar Tree. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I, I definitely, I bought them, I'm gonna use them. They feel great in the hand as far as stainless steel. I feel like this is one of those greenwashing, aesthetic alluring items that you'll see in the zero waste or low waste community. People are like, look at this pen, let's you know get this pen, but really is it really that eco-friendly? I'm not sure. I'm a little disappointed with these. That's why I only opened one of them. I don't know if I'm going to open the rest or return them. Uh, returns are complicated too because then does the company resell them or do they end up just getting destroyed and thrown away? So I don't know. I probably will keep them. I don't think I would repurchase them again. It's a little disappointing. They are supposed to be extra long lasting. They're supposed to go five days. I don't know if you can see that five days without drying out if you leave the cap off, which is great. I love the innovation of that. We'll see. I, you know, maybe I'll update you in next year's video on how that goes. I did get a couple of school lunch items. I know we're homeschool, so we usually eat lunch at home, but occasionally we go out to eat. Well, we go out and do things and then we need to eat. But sometimes it's nice to have these just compostable sandwich bags, depending on where we're going. If I don't want to have to haul the stasher bags around with us all day, if I want to be able to just throw this in a compost bin. We live in the Pacific Northwest. We're going into Seattle for the day. There's usually compost bins everywhere, so we can just throw these in the compost bins when we're done using them. And they're really affordable. And then the last thing I got, again, this is definitely not low waste. But, you know, when your kids are doing school, it's definitely important to make sure that their brains are nourished and taken care of so that they can focus on their schoolwork. Kids can be difficult to get food, especially my children. So I was looking at nutritional shakes and I had looked at Pediasure and Pediasure Organics version and then I found Orgain had a plant-based version. So anytime we're talking switching from dairy cow to plant-based, we're talking about better environmental impact for the most part. Uh, for me, whenever I can pick something plant-based over dairy-based for my kids and they'll drink it and they'll love it, I for sure will. My one son's allergic to dairy, so he doesn't eat dairy at all. Not really that much more expensive than the Pediasure. In fact, I think these are cheaper than the Pediasure Organics and these are organic 
and my son loves them. He's only allowed to drink one a day and he would drink the whole case if I let him <laughs> in one day, I'm sure, because it's just like chocolate milk. They have a vanilla version as well. And I got these from Orgain's website. They have a subscribe and save, so you save money if you subscribe to their subscription. But I think Costco sells these as well, but I'm not sure if they're the plant-based version or the cow milk based version. I didn't look into it too much, but you might check your Costco. Again, there would still be organic nutritional shakes, even if they're cow milk at a good price from Costco. And that's everything I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you like the video, give it a like, maybe consider subscribing, sticking around, and I'll see you in the next one. Until next time, peace.